We bite Big Trouble Podcast, and we purposely trying to get into some trouble. It's your host, Caesar. I'm Ken Wynn. And Chef Tony. I'm Sasha. We got another guest. Hey, this women's thing we got going on, we running them through there. We, we, try, we got another young lady doing something amazing, and we better let her talk about it. We're going to get down through that first. What we doing, see? Hey, man. First, I want to say this, too. They all in Houston. All in Houston. They all in Houston. But we ain't saying come here. We just saying they here. You can we visit. Just letting you know what it's like. We just letting you know what it's like down here. What kind of what kind of headstrong women we got out here that's doing that thing, shit man. Together. Got their shit together for sure. And they coming like this. They <laughs> <laughs> I come with it, bro. <laughs> yes. No, so I guess we coming in. They know what time it is. Oh yeah. Pull up your shot. To all the partners watching, man. Let's kick it out. All the partners worldwide. Mm-hmm. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Keep it going. I meant forget to tell y'all. We've been seeing everything y'all doing. Like I said, we taking positive, negatives, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Y'all know how it go. Uh, like he said, um, dogs, cats, snakes, chickens, <laughs> dogs. <laughs> if they can get on the computer, they can tell them, man. You know what I'm saying? It works. Subscribe. You know what I mean? But what episode is this? This is episode 87. Yeah, I yeah, know you have. Exactly. Almost 87. Almost okay, almost 87. 87. So we got a special guest. We got Sasha with us. Tell us what you're doing here, man. Well, I'm the owner of I Heart Lash Academy. I Heart Beauty Academy. So let me go back. I started off I Heart Lash Academy five years ago. I started off I Heart Lash Studio, which was just me lashing 10 years ago. So right now, I'm just running a full cosmetology school, teaching aesthetics, manicure services, and eyelash services. So. So what you was doing before you was into the lash and what made you get into, I'm going to go ahead and pursue this lash thing? Um, I worked for the Department of Health and Human Services first before I got into this industry. Before that, it was just like dead end jobs, call centers. Hmm. Everybody know if you went to high school with me, I worked at Kroger's from what? I forgot. 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I yeah. started off as a cart pusher. At yeah, 14? Yeah. Yep, yep. Kroger's hired at 14, there. bro. Yep. Yep. I worked at Kroger's at 14. He was there. Yeah. Mike was there. Mike was there, yeah. too. Mike was there. The one on Mondra? Yeah, them bitches. I was, 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 was at the one on Belford. The one on Belford. Belford and Post Oak. Post Oak. The oh, okay. signature Kroger's. Okay. Yeah. So I started there. Um, and then just kind of like dead end jobs up until the department of Because <laughs> people that. don't be thinking like, they don't know like the glow up from that. Yeah. A lot of people, I don't know if y'all remember Darrell Williams, but he always That's invites me and be it's like, you from CEP to CEO. And yeah. that be like hitting me like yeah. I was yeah. at CEP. I remember you was at Oh, I forgot you. That was a green collar. Yeah, I forgot you went there. Man, bro. But, um, Tarted in the motherfucker all the time. <laughs> Honestly, what got me in the beauty industry, y'all know me. So y'all know I was rocking with y'all. Jays, yeah. Tomboy, at yeah. the Dice Game, Side yeah. Bidding. Yeah. I was that. Yeah. So um, I literally had a baby, and it was like a premature birth. I lost the baby. And it sent me into like a dark space. Like, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I stayed in my room for months. And I started buying makeup, like MAC makeup, just trying to cover up the pain. And um, 
I don't know. Like, God just gave it to me, like, look into eyelashes. Like, I love the way I could go from no lashes, which I don't have on no fucking lashes right now. But if you see me with lashes, it's a totally different look. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it's got to be something more permanent to putting on, like, strip lashes. And then I'm kind of, like, a little bougie. So I don't like the big, fluffy, long, heavy weighing lashes. So I'm like, it's got to be something more natural looking. I started researching eyelash extensions. And... Celebrities was winning. They're paying five, six hundred dollars a set. I'm like, damn. How can they afford that? You know, who, how they doing them? Are they sewing them out? So I start doing my research on it. Just writing notes to myself. Like, God will wake me up at three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm just writing about it. And I'm like, dang, well, I'm gonna get the money to learn these. I just took out some money from my 401k for my job and trained and literally took off with it. Like. That's crazy. I it's was a, seeing it's my, the second time we heard that voice. Yeah. <laughs> That I voice, told you. and then and she then said, I it. was like questioning it, like me. Like, I'm the girl that don't wear heels. I'm in every pair of J's that come out. Like, people are gonna laugh at me because I don't know nothing about makeup. Like, even when I was playing around with trying to hide my pain, that shit was like clown makeup. <laughs> like, I literally <laughs> didn't know what I was doing, but I had a few friends like Robin. Yeah. Was hitting me like, yeah, you got to do that. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know where to begin. But as I started doing it, like, people just started coming into my life, letting me practice yeah. on them. I didn't know what I was doing. And eventually yeah. came the it's top in right. the city. Like, yeah. yeah, people could see somebody on the street and be like, Sasha, did your lashes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got to that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say sometimes uh, in the darkness is when the light comes, baby. You know and I saying? lash because I mean, I used to run up a crazy bag from lashes. I would lash from like and you I got said, on the early, bro. Yeah, the first when it was early. So I was yeah. literally teaching people about it as I was giving them the service. Like, this is something different from just buying strips from the beauty supply, right? You're gonna come to me every three weeks and get a refill, and right. it's gonna look like they your lashes. Like, only be mm-hmm. only competition yeah. you have with them Chinese people, yes. Yeah, that was my biggest competition. Like, anybody else that was. Like me, you ain't my competition. We're going to have our own lane. Right. And it's a lot of money out here for us to eat. Like, I trained a lot of people. Like, I can't so do everybody. Each one, teach one system with you. Basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I can't lash everybody. And I know I know a bunch of girls that's doing lash. Oh, yeah. It's they still, they still growing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's still growing. But it's the, see, that's the, good, that's the good part about it is when you jump in that shit before... Everybody else get yeah. into it. So you got your, your shit already set up. Yeah, established. And like, see, regardless of, of anything, they gonna know you and fuck with you. I wanted to train with the top people. Like, I knew I learned the technique, but I wasn't a beast at it. So I was mm-hmm. like, every little piece of money I get, I'm gonna reinvest it into me. Mm-hmm. So I started traveling to like LA, Dallas, training with top companies, white mm-hmm. people. Russians, like I want to learn techniques they not doing here. Right. So people have no choice but to want to try my lashes, and then I'm like, I'm not like everybody else. So my prices ain't gonna be like everybody else. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get y'all the top products. Everybody mm-hmm. using the beauty supply or they buying the cheaper products. So it's just like, well, why her lashes look so different? Because everything premium over here. So you gonna pay a premium price. So what you if if you if you had to. Not just spot on, right? Ballpark figure. What you think that you invested back in yourself by trying to better your, your you know, spending money to make money? Yeah, like money. like you said, you was going to train with all these people. What you think it, it cost you to perfect your shit? Um, so the lash industry products and stuff is not really that expensive, but training could be. Um, so if I had to give you a ballpark number, about two, three hundred thousand. Thank you to myself. Now, mind y'all, while I was training with these people, I was also investing and starting my own brand. So I'm yeah. still trying to cut out the middleman. Every time I go somewhere, I'm learning how to get my own products, my own adhesive. Oh, you know what you my sound own, like? What? <laughs> Robin? No. Oh, uh-huh. because <laughs> we... <laughs> Sound like a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just put it out there. All right, Frank. She done, she done <laughs> flew out the top one. <laughs> yeah, see, you know, I'm Wait, going out there. I'm sampling them. It sounded like, hey, like this hereditary. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Man. She done cut the middle man. Let's be real. Y'all know. But that's real. Y'all know who my dad was. But that's real, though. Yeah, that's real. And I was my dad's sidekick. I tell everybody this. Like, yes, the man was doing whatever he was doing. But what he instilled in me 
took me to higher right. like like higher heights in what I'm doing. Right. It's still like, a business actually. Right. That's the best right. business. That's the bro, best business, bro. It he didn't hide every, anything from yeah, me. Yeah, that teaches like, everything. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That's why I take risks because of him. Like, right. you know, if you've never seen nobody take risks before, you're not going to take a risk. Right. Like, risk it to get the bitch, yeah. is what they say. Yeah. yeah, but that's how, I mean, I just think back to seeing him take risks. And it, it but was I wasn't going to bring that up. I was just saying, it, it sounded way so I, much. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> bro, this is all I to say. The middleman, but I, you have I'm to. learning. In entrepreneurship, eventually you have to because you can keep, they going to add, I'm going to just be real with you. Like, when we buy shoes. In China, how much they they making them shoes? Ten cents. Ten cents. Yeah, what on, we paying bro. for Jays? Oh, they what is the return? They putting a four thousand dollar <laughs> uh, percent in uh, uh, profit. They getting out. And it's all about what branding. It's all about the name. Yeah. So, so you once cut you foot like I. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, you cut foot like I the way. And you travel you right, right on over to China yeah. and go to the you source. The source. And all I mean, you have to do is build a brand that everybody want to touch. Like, you just got to put your brand out there that everybody want to be a part of. And that's what I was. I was strategic about that. My clients knew they was coming in. Oh, she got the best products. The salon look dope. I'm not at her house. She got wine waiting on us, snacks waiting on us. And then I'm only in there for an hour and 30 minutes. Hmm. Ask Lash Texas right here how long hmm. they take it. Then y'all let me know. Man, my daughter just went down there. Like four hours. Done. Yeah, she was in that motherfucker for about two. <laughs> yeah, I dropped off, went and done my shit, came back. Yeah, Still really, yeah. Done, yeah. I literally Man, shut down my life for like two fucking, years. Uh, so you were seven days a week? Seven days a week. And I still Damn had a great. job because I had my two kids. So I was kind of scared, like fearful to let my job go, yeah, thinking yeah. like everybody going to laugh at me or I'm going to fail. And at the time I was in a relationship and I'm telling him, he didn't understand that. Nobody knew what lashes was. And he ain't understand yeah, people gonna be game. paying you like two, three hundred dollars. He listening to me. He didn't even make it, you know, a joke or anything, but he like, I don't understand it. But I came to him and was like, it's gonna get hard around here because I'm ready to walk away from my job. Like I got enough clients to walk away, but they not steady. But I know if I get in full time, I can make it steady. So yeah, I was seven days and I was going in the shop at nighttime, like around these hours. Yeah. Just bringing it in. Mm. Whatever they give you, yeah. you know, until if you got. they text me, hey, can I come get my lashes in? Yeah, poop, then, poop. then your then then the, the brand became bigger than mm-hmm. that, and then it was more like, all right, let me structure. Let this me bitch. pull back yeah. and structure it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. honestly, to be honest with y'all, I'm in a, a rebrand right now. Like I pull back from the chair. Like I don't lash at all, but I got students around Houston, all over Texas, really, that lash. So I can send people to them. But I'm moving towards coaching now. Like I get so many people, hey, can you mentor me? I want to open up a school. I want. I want to open up a successful salon that's bringing in six, seven figures. I can mentor you to do that. But I have to rebrand all of that. Like I gotta let somebody run the school now, so I can be 100% available to mentor mm-hmm. or you know to help somebody else open up a school. So basically, like, um, fuck you, call that shit. What you mean? When, the, when, the, when the company pay you to come in and um, a consultant, consultant, so yeah. it's basically like lash consultant. Yeah, because I was gonna ask like, it so called what? So it called five hundred even talk to you. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, just to even pick up the phone. She's like, ooh, you low. Like, hey, Sasha, that's really low. You low me, bro. The knowledge and experience I got. No, I'm yeah. saying for you to even be like, hello, Sasha, <laughs> click five. <500." laughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, that's that, that, that phone call. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm 500 a minute. He's like, I heard her voice. <laughs> hey, oh my God, I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I'm talking to the last one. For real, like, y'all, y'all understand the nights that I stayed up, like, researching this. Like, I had people don't mentors. See that. And honestly, like, I would get with them people and be like, y'all are really not trying to do what I'm doing. Right. You're doing something completely different. Right. So I kind of wasted my money, but it also, like, I can take stuff from it to right. be inspired to, like, okay, do what you need to do. I mean, everything yeah. is a step. But people mm-hmm. need to hear, they got to hear this part because when you look up, all of a sudden you see Sasha. Because if you look in front of outside of If you look at my Instagram, bro, you go to what, what, what I'm saying yeah. is, yeah. Knowing, yeah. If, knowing you from back then to now, it don't look like you ever missed a beat. Yeah. Nowhere. Yeah. So it's like we know you all the way. You was flying school. You had the shoes. You always had the job. This, that, and the third. And then now they look at it right now. Don't nobody know that that 
the pause when you like I'm up at night do it. I research. I'm like, tired. People think it's overnight. Yeah. I'm doing yeah. research. Overnight they think yeah, you blink, like blink your eye. Oh, I'm a last. They take think you didn't. You didn't just had the, the money was just there. It fell out the sky. You went there for one k. You went there for one k. Smart, smart. You know nobody like touching that for one k. Nobody like touching that for one k. But I got a question for you though. Go ahead. I was gonna say one to go. Along your journey, like as you you know you climbing up your journey, you figuring it out. I want to know how. I don't want to know necessarily. I just want you to tap into the people that you had to cut out that didn't understand the vision or didn't understand mm. where you was going. It's a list. Mm. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to get into the names. I just yeah. Wanna... I'm not gonna put the names out there, but in the beginning, it was family, and I can say this on here. Even if my mama tapped into it, she called me crazy to my face. Not even crazy, stupid. Like you walking away from a for sure job with insurance and you got two kids. You stupid. That shit broke me. Like, I ain't talked to her for like a year. Mm -hmm. But in my mind, I'm like, I got to show her that mm -hmm. That's what it is. this is not me. This is God. But back then it was rebellion. Now that I'm looking at hindsight, it was rebellion. Like, I'm going to show you because you don't believe yeah. in me. I'm going to uh -huh. show you. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Yeah, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And I literally... I tell this story to my friends, and Robin is the only person that know because Robin used to come and sit with me. Like, she kind of guided me through it, but when I wanted to show my mom, I'm like, I'm going to have to give everything back. People don't know this. I gave my car back. I downsized my house. All for the vision of a business. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I told my dude at the time, it's going to get hard around here. Like, we ain't riding slabs no more. I can't. <laughs> None of this. Like, I'm locking in. Yeah. And we had a rock relationship because of that, because again, he didn't understand, like, ain't nobody finna pay you $200 to do their lashes. And I'm like, bet, just let me get there. Right. And family-wise, I couldn't listen to what they were saying because somebody can say something to you and it'll mess your whole train of thought. Mm -hmm. of, like, it'll make you be like, nah, I shouldn't be doing this. Let me go back to work. And mm -hmm. if I would've went back to work, I could be broke right now. Honestly, me and my kids would be struggling. Right. I was getting one check a month. That check was gone before it even hit my account. Mm -hmm. Like the state, the food the stamp office. Oh, might as oh, well nah, be the prison. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got to deal with these people. But you get in. your check on the day rent doing shit. <laughs> yes, right. and I had like, yeah. a, you know, you got a heavy case. All the people do not care yeah, about you. Yeah. None of that. So I, I cut off family. Like family were the people that I had to cut off, and it was a temporary cut off because I had to come back around to apologize to them, like for building up that wall. Because y'all clearly didn't understand. But the wall was necessary. It time. was necessary for me to build. But you yeah, know one thing too. See. You know one thing about that. Is is to like your mama. I'm not talking about everybody else. The era that they came from, I that was wasn't too yeah. much seen. And that's why I said that I had to seen. apologize. Yeah, because yeah, I was holding yeah, okay, you to a standard okay, that okay, you okay, didn't okay, know. Okay. Old school era was brought up. They was, yeah. they was work, go, go to school, to go to college, get a job, yeah. work to you. Because that's all they had. All it they wasn't know. no they, they didn't have an opportunity. Right. Right. Yeah. They didn't know that. So a lot of things. used to be told, if you want to drive a Benz or anything, you had to go to college for that. Right. No, or you had to be a drug dealer. Drug dealer. Yeah, and that's not necessarily true. Yeah, and then when when we came and got all them opportunities, that's why it's like our era. Even when if you worked a job, bro, you can go and get six figures. But they, it's unheard of for them. They just like he rich now. Yeah, you know the fuck I'm not. Nigga, no. this shit is you still got taxes. All this shit catch up and it it balance out. But at the end of the day, they don't see. So let's just say you working a job and you making six figures, whatever, and then you like. I'm leaving this. I'm going to drive a truck. I mean, I'm going to start my business. They're going to be like, That's the dumbest nigga, shit you the dumb. What the fuck are you mm -hmm. doing? You setting like, because they couldn't make it even to that. They didn't even make it that far. Mm -hmm. So when you there, they just like, hey, bro, you need to you need to stay right there. I remember yeah, walking good. away. Remember when we walked in? I was making like, this was when we was, what was this, like 2009? We was making like forty thousand dollars a year, and that was good for the age that we mm -hmm. was. For the time, yeah, for the time. And it was like, hey, this ain't enough for me. I'm, I'm leaving. Gotta I'm leave going to run. You know how many people I said I was stupid? Everything. <laughs> I had the apartment, the car, the bitches. I everything. Was <laughs> I was living. I remember, and we was I just remember. like, hey. 
It's time to quit. But at the yeah. same time, bro, at the same time, my one bedroom apartment rent was 404. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm saying 40000 back then was good money. That shit was in the mill. What you mean? That shit was 404. I was on. But yeah, that's, that's the that's the, the old school together. Old they got old a three bedroom, yeah. they not short even. townhouse for uh, eight hundred. They not really a hundred, hundred, hundred grand this year. Is not to 25. question like my kids either because they in a different generation. Right. Like my son is seventeen. He sports betting, stocks, mm-hmm. cyber security mm-hmm. already. Yep. I asked him, what you want to do when you finish school? Mama, I don't know yet. I don't know if I really want to go to college yet. Same shit that my all them kids and, mm-hmm. yep. You know, we told our parents that it's, what the hell you mean? You going mm-hmm. to college. Yeah. Like, we had to enroll. Yeah. Even if we, th- we dropped out that first year, <laughs> yeah. you had to enroll. And my grace towards my kids is, let me know what you want to do. I'm going to support as long as you ain't drug dealing, knocking nobody yeah. over the head. Mm-hmm. I'm going to support you. And he was like, I think I want to go to the Navy. But do cyber security as well. well whatever you choose to do, Ooh, I'm gonna support that. I know somebody because it's time. how many yeah. ways to get a fish. So cyber security is yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. That's, that's the that's money. the same thing about like my daughter. My daughter been having her own shop for like a year, but I told her like just go to the army and get your you know uh Credential. you know no I'm saying get your get the insurance. From the arm because you can have that for a lifetime. This is true. Because them hands gonna start hurting after a while. This is true, especially in college. Yeah, yeah. You, so can, you, can come yeah. Back, you can come back have home. Have some back home. Come back home and still. She, but that. even if that's your passion, and this is what I teach my students, you came in and want to be a lash tech, but your hands can't work seven days a week. Right. I came in hustling because I was raised by a hustler, but now I'm strategic. I don't want to hustle no more. Like. I want the money to flow to me. Yeah. So now I'm teaching y'all what I learned along my 10 year journey. So Your you hands not gonna work every sense. day. Build a product line. Build a podcast. Man, Build a coaching that. business. Build an ebook. Some shit that's selling while you sleep. When you wake that's, up, that's you just check right. your that's phone in. Okay, boom, I made like, two I grand it. off I my ebook. Right. I really yeah. don't have to go into the shop right. today. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. you have to do something. You have to this the the shit that I'm teaching like my daughter. I say, look, do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. But all I'm saying is incorporate some type of computer savvy into That's your it. shit because That's it. I, That's I, I, I watched. I watched. I remember being in the oil field, dog. We was out there getting so much motherfucking money, and I watched that bitch leave like in the like in the mix. The motherfuckers called me one day and said, "Hey, you want to go run this electric frack? We doing gas." Electric frack. So I'm like, okay. I got like three machines to hit out this bitch. I'm like, they really don't even need me out here. Mm-hmm. Everything is electric, right? Mm-hmm. Went from that. That one had a lot of problems. At the same time, they built some shit that a nigga on the inside who was making heat was working on my truck. Like I'd be like, hey, bro, look, hit that day because I ain't have to. I just tell the techs what to do. Now the tech is inside a little box. Press a button, that bitch fuel every motherfucking thing. <laughs> I'm looking at the shit play out and I'm like, damn, the nigga who's making the most, they don't need me for shit. Yeah. <laughs> but when I was That's telling the dude what to like, do. What? Yeah. They don't need me no more. Yeah. But that's the truth, though. Nah, you gotta you have some over the road yeah. somewhere, my nigga, because I hear you. <laughs> yeah. They don't need you. You're not gonna sit and tear this clock up no more. <laughs> so, computer. Yeah. AI, look at AI. Right. Yeah, yeah. AI will write a whole yeah. ebook for you. Nigga. Yeah. You go in there and type, write me an ebook. I got a movie that I'm writing right yeah. now. Yeah. I, got a, I got a podcast book on how to start your podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you I gotta, know, I'm not letting you put that out. I'm writing French, you know. Yeah, I got something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though, like on some real shit, like what she said, it's all about. This bitch just like that, like that's kind of like music wise on your catalog. You gonna get paid off forever. Mm-hmm. That's why you, you wanna be to making stamp. money in your sleep. Right. Mm-hmm. She said that. Mm-hmm. And the best thing, like you said, like you was doing, you like, I was putting in that work, and then next thing you know what, you know, my work is through other And I can tell her and Robin Friends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna ask you, I was gonna say what made you Two do the transaction business. from doing it to yourself to actually putting it into the last account. Obviously, she was ahead so, of every motherfucking thing. Right? I was ahead mentally because I I could see where the industry was going. So when I opened the salon right here on Hillcroft of the Beltway, I had six rooms. So I was trying to bring in six ticks under me. First failure was nobody had a license. Mm. <laughs> 
they was good. Or I yeah. could train them and make them good, but y'all didn't go to school. So now I'm jeopardizing my license. So and I had you, somebody okay. before that I jeopardized my license for, brought her in, because she told me she had a license. I never checked it. I'm young. Just get me in. I'm hungry for money. Let's get the, it. the state come in and hit me with a $6,000 fine. Ooh. For her mistake. A client was pissed off for her. They so called and made yeah, a complaint. Shit. It it's was on under you, my business it's, under the job. it's like but using the authority. authority. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She working under your name. So yeah. you got to stand under this fine. And so I'm like, I'm not doing that again. But these people that I'm bringing in, they're basically no license. So what do I do in this situation? I'm, so I'm not bringing y'all in and jeopardize my license again. Let me go ahead and open up the school. So Was that thirty six thousand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding shit up so like do that. So do you get like funding from the government for the school? So I can, since I've had the school for five years, I can get financial aid. This is my thing, though. If you look at Oval, the bigger schools, the bigger cosmetology schools, they charge like maybe eighteen grand for these people to start. What? My highest program is ninety eight hundred. Mm. That's significantly lower than them. So hold on, wait, wait, wait. Ninety eight hundred. If you put that ten percent code in there, <laughs> you might be getting somewhere. Slash it's big trouble. trouble. Yeah, slash big trouble. <laughs> we just saying, like we That's know. That's my highest program. My lowest is fifty five. So, so it's fifty five hundred a, a student. Mm -hmm. How many students you got? I'm not telling you that. Man, get out that lady by the. I'm trying to borrow some money, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, we might be having a new sponsor. <laughs> You're going to see her name across the bottom of Spawn's body from down. Y'all going to see me with the lashes on. <laughs> we just dropped these right here. <laughs> I Come mean, on, hey, play. I have a male student right now. Just got a facial. Just got a facial. I'm pushing him he, he, he to do lashes. lashes. Like, he cold with it. And his whole thing is his whole demeanor about it is like, you know, he the mad lash scientist. But if you look on TikTok, search this in your free time, male lash artists. They booming right now. Check, look they at that hand. Know how many. Is <laughs> yeah. that hand steady? It seemed like it's steady. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like bro. it's steady. I would think but about it. I, put, on, a, I put a poll up one day. I don't know if you've seen it. And I asked women. Would y'all let a male do y'all lashes? And they know he's gonna be 100%. better. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. And I then think, it's I not gonna be a catty situation. Males mm -hmm. in the women industry, bro. Especially it, if you uh, if you would carry yourself and you you kind of we not, just you remember that fat. topic we had. If you was a straight nigga, they done half. Oh yeah. Are oh, you on? Not even just about the money. Man, let me tell you something. Oh, oh you have a, a woman don't get her hair done and her lashes done before she pay her bills. That's a fact. Yes. They, they don't they, care. They that gonna figure that, that, that rent out later. That's they why they care. kill. They yeah. gonna back their lashes and they'll in the office. And they complain the whole time, bro. Cause I got <laughs> some. Look, I got. Look, I, I ain't gonna say her name. I got somebody at the house right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to the beauty shop. She, she be like, bro. She be like, bro. I ain't got no hair. It's five hundred dollars. <laughs> The next two months down the line, I'm seeing that same toys in the center of the She back up there again, ready to go, and come on do the same shit. I swear to God, I, I don't know why I keep spending all because this money. It's it be two it's months worth it. It's worth it. Back it's called yeah, beauty therapy, though. It is a therapy. So yeah. this is why I stay. I stayed in the industry. So after I trained. I lived my first train, I felt like I ain't learned nothing. I cried all the way home from that. It's like, bro, I just got this lady my last. And I feel like I don't know anything. But once I started doing it, like it's a therapy for us as the lash tick. Like But did you learn something from her though? I did. That you just didn't realize. I just didn't realize it then okay. because I, I'm just stepping into this uh -huh. industry. Right, sure. Um, but it's therapy, like the environment is quiet, it's soft music playing. Of course, they might come in and talk to you for a little bit, but it don't feel like work. Like, mm -hmm. for the last 10 years, I don't complain about going to my yeah. shit. Yeah. Now, I might run into some crazy clients that'll piss me off, like. Which is normal. That's but again, normal. this is mine. Like, I don't feel like I'm working. This right. is passion. Do you want me to run them off? Yeah, go run them off real fast. <laughs> We're going to continue, because I want, I want to know this. What's like, okay, the. Uh, when you was going through, because I wanted, I wanted people to get a little substance because they be thinking, they see the glam, they see, you know, they see you doing your thing. I want to know, was that that darkest time that you had going along your journey and you had to get up out of it? Like, you was just down at your low and you had to figure a way, I'm for the, I'm for the come up out of this. And I'm about to give up. 
But I'm not gonna give up because I see the the, the light at the end of the tunnel yeah, type situation. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, to be honest, I'm in the dark time right now. But a time before that, when I decided to open up the salon on Hillcrow, so my lease was being, I was in a building on Gessner in 59. My lease was up and I'm like, I need to find me a space. I'm gonna open up a full service salon. I go get the space. I pray over space, everything. Find a contractors in Home Depot parking. Hey, work, work, work. Hey, I need, I need help moving. Uh, moving. I move, I move housing. I move, I have money. No, no, money. No, no, no. I, I, I move. No, no, no. You know it. You know the other. No, no, no. Negative. Negative. No, no, probably negative. What the fuck? Hey, come here. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, man. Come here, man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. They're the best ones sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes they not, sometimes they homeboy. I have my baby daddy draw, draw out the layout, how I want my salon to look. He draw it out on hand. I meet the contractors up there. It's like two days. <laughs> it's two days that I'm doing is meeting different contractors, trying to see who know what they talking about. Can you build this? Can you knock these walls down, this, that, and the other? I'm new into this. I don't know. But also, I'm hustling. I'm going to do lashes. I'm coming back. I'm building up my funds. So I finally meet this one. He got his little game together. Yeah, I can do all this. About 10 grand. I'm bad. Just 10. So we go to Home Depot, get the supplies. He stack everything up in there. And I had this done in two weeks. So me, the girly girl that I remember, oh, grand opening on my birthday. We for the, we popping off. Yeah. Oh, y'all. The nigga come in and knock the walls down. He come like two days. He knocked the walls down. He started pulling cords out. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have it done in two weeks. He come one more day. So I'm like, okay, when you gonna get started on building up the walls, you know, and stuff like that. Again, I do not know. Like, he like, yeah, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Next day come, he ain't show up. I paid him the 10 grand up front to get the supplies. Mm. Yeah. You ain't say that yeah. way. Yeah. I gave him all the money up front. We got the supplies and the rest he just, you know, this is my working money. Third day come, this nigga did not show up. Fourth day, did not show up. He stopped answering the phone. Mm. And I say, literally put me in a dark place. I'm, fuck it. I didn't go back up there for like two weeks. My friend called me and said, you gotta get off the couch. How she knew I was on my couch? I, I wasn't even what? sleeping in my bedroom. I was upstairs on the couch, like sick. My birthday was literally like two days away. So I'm not gonna have this grand opening for my birthday. And she's like, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to get back there. Like, go up there. Somebody go come and finish it for you. He built up the walls, but he didn't paint. I still had chandeliers. All type of stuff that needed to be done. Boxed up. Yeah. Just, just sitting there. Just sitting there. Paint sitting there, everything. I'm waiting for the part where you say you dropped the bag on his head. Straight up. I can't put it on the podcast, but. Oh, oh nah, come oh, on, bro. Shit, you, my, bad. my nerves was getting bad. I'm, I'm always bad. Like, I'm waiting like. I'm like, yeah. oh, I am. Yeah. Right. 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 I didn't care. Right? I don't know. Right? 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 The punchline. You, you know I went home and cried okay, to my okay, people okay, about okay. it. So yeah, yeah, nothing yeah, happened yeah. to you. Hey, <laughs> don't worry this. about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're gonna say this over here at the Big Trump Park. If nothing happened to that young man. Nothing. Continue this. We're gonna rewind. Walking right. Okay, so now he's back at Home Depot. He's just trying to live. He's scamming the next one. So I called my mama again. Me and mama wouldn't see eye to eye, but that's all I know. I'm the only child, so I mm. called and I, I'm trying to explain to her. She still don't understand, but she worked for University of Houston downtown, so she like, I see contractors around here. Let me go ask one of them. And them people came in. You don't got to pay us nothing. We're going to finish it, but it ain't going to be finished by your birthday. They finished it in like two weeks. So mm -hmm. Mama exactly saved. how I wanted it. Like, she saved ass. me. And Mama I think that's like when that. she realized, yeah. like, oh, this is what she really got going on. Shit, yeah. yeah. She doing some big shit, yeah. yeah. For free. Hey, I'm, hey, and mama, what, how, mama, how, the, the finished that. product, was it like what yeah, you yeah, mapped yeah. out? But the yeah, thing is, is, bro, like you gotta- Mama you gotta, went over there and talked that game too. Mama got that game too. Y'all got mama, mama, mama. But you gotta mama understand, over there you gotta that understand this though, this point, like it's about this lady walking by faith. Yeah. yeah. 
Blindly. They did that shit for free. Yeah, that's some, that's, that's some real shit. That was for free. Blindly. But remember when I told y'all, boy, when I said the hardest thing in life was always to be like, find your purpose, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really some shit that I figured out was the easiest. And I said, for you to find your purpose in, in life is to listen to that fucking voice, voice. in your head. The one that you kind of go against all the time. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what our biggest obstacle is. It's fear. Mm -hmm. Right, for sure. I just read a book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. He's having a conversation with the devil in this book. Damn, I want to read that book. Mm -hmm. The whole book is him talking to the devil. He's asking the devil questions of how do you... What is it called again? Outwitting the devil. Outwitting the devil. Let me write that bitch down. He's asking that. the devil how do he hold people back and turn them into drifters. He said, I first start off in the schools and in the church, and I believe every bit of that. Mm, because cold. you remember when we were going to church as kids, we yeah. were taught everything we did was a sin. You pierced mm -hmm. your ears, you sinned. Mm -hmm. You had sex with somebody, you was going to hell. Sin. You said certain things like curse words, you was going to hell. Yep. Mm -hmm. Literally, we are living in hell. We all going Facts. to heaven when we leave here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I ain't trying to go Facts. to church on this podcast, but Facts. reading this book, nah, and he said, shit. also in school, he said, I use the teachers to play on the kids' minds. Like, they don't teach us life skills in school. They don't teach us how to fill out a check, mm -hmm. a money order. Y'all teach us how to pass tests. Facts. How many tests has we t have we taken since we've been out of school? I can't even tell you. But we also need to know how to go into a bank and ask for a loan. Grow food. Grow food. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole questionnaire and of stuff that they don't teach us. I sent it to my son. I said, do they teach you any of this in school? Mm -hmm. He said, none of it. He said, everything on this list I learned from you. That's the school, school, school. My daughter, kind of like I the teach robot. everything yeah. outside of the yeah, outside of school. Too. But he uses it, and he was like, "This is something Pastors I've always. Too, this is something I've always stuck with. If you ever Tenderness. been to a ghetto, you are gonna see a Popeyes, a dollar store, the liquor and store. some projects, and a liquor store. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. There's fact. one person working in that dollar store. It's about six angry motherfuckers working in their Popeyes. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be some scrapping going on yeah. because everybody in this box. They're drifters. Mm -hmm. They all fearful of moving outside of that box. Exactly. They all see each other doing the same thing. Anything outside of that box, they scared of it. Yeah. Even if it's, it's growth. They reach. Even if it's growth. Like, I didn't date niggas like that. Like, come out of the hood. Nigga, you gotta go back to the hood. Nigga, let's go out of the country. They scared to get yeah. a passport to step outside That's of the country. Fact. And I, I thank God for that oh, because people man. don't even know. I grew up in a one bedroom. Yeah, I was jazzed down, but my mama was stuck in her mindset like, I don't want to expand. Right. I'm okay. I'm comfortable here I'm in this good, one right bedroom. Here, as long yeah. as I got my own, everything And that's I'm never straight. been my right. mindset. Right. Like, right. I'm right. never going to box my kids in like that. Right. Like, I felt like I was boxed in. So for me to step out and do that faithfully, like, don't even know what I'm doing. Like, willing to lose. Like, I know I'm not a drifter. Like, right. just reading that book, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm a little different. I'm cut a little right. different. Yeah, I, I think... You can go as far as your mind let you. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. if you. If it's you, a saying that says, your feet will never touch where your mind can't that's go. That's a fact. And that's why, I like, but one thing I did, like, learn with them, like, just studying shit, it's kind of like, if you go somewhere beyond what you can see, I'm saying as far as, like, the curb, your neighborhood, fuck it, nigga, your seat. Because you, you know how we've been moving around. Bro, when we was 14, 15, we was going, we was in eight leaf. We was on the east side. Mo we was already we, leaving. We was already so when you go right there, right? Right. right. <laughs> no, no. Serious shit, though. That shit, no, serious, no. Serious, that no. shit like, even he just going was to the, he, he was. <laughs> going to the crowd by that young opened your mind up to be like, a lot of nigga, have yeah. you ever seen this shit? Yeah. That made you do what say, nigga, when it come around next year, I'm going to have my shit together. Yeah. Right. It true. made you bro, go. We was at the camp of walking right? down the beach, bro, and we seen Uncle Luke. Nigga, Uncle Luke had two tour buses. We just like, nigga, this, this is... These celebrities out here. We out here But that's living. even when you travel to other countries. That's, living, what I, that's yeah, exactly so what I was getting to. When I travel to other countries, I do go for vacation, but I also go for like a mind reset. Like right. I like to see how them people live. If you right. ever too. notice when you I, go to another country, too, they not flustered. They not stressed. Not at all, bro. They not moving they like they move. way lower. They moving way I live lower. In, I do that same shit. Even and they happier. Because you know, because a lot of times. That is it right there. That's what I took from it because 
in my first few years of business, I felt like I was running, 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 running. I was bringing the money in, but I was taking that shit to the gallery, going mm -hmm. by the like, ten ten thousand dollar bags and mm -hmm. things like that. Working, but not really happy. Like, yeah, I got the design and stuff on, but you, I'm not spending time with my kids, none of that. I don't have the freedom. Right. So when you go to those other countries and you see them people, they free. They peaceful. Like, right. what am all I doing? Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, I remember going somewhere. <laughs> I remember because because technically, you know, every time you go somewhere, when you get off the plane, you always got to ride an hour before you get. Yeah. To your Into hotel. the place, yeah. I'm going places, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm riding down. Take these me dirt. to the ghetto. I'm bro. riding down these dirt <laughs> roads. I'm seeing like clay the houses. Yeah. The mom yeah. in the house sweeping yeah. dirt. Yeah. It's like it's no That's AC. That's why I want you to take no me. No windows. Yeah, it's true. kids in the back. And, and they be smiling. smiling. Yeah. Smiling. They waving don't treat you people. like God. Not a care right. in the world, bro. Yeah. And you get back here and you be like, bro, why? You know what you me? You know what trip me out, bro? I remember, remember we was in Jamaica. We was riding them four wheelers through that, through the little jungle part and shit, right? And somebody shit fucked up, so we stopped, right? And we we had fun. We like, bro, this shit loud, loud. So I remember passing by this one thing, like a bunch of trash. It was just in, dumped in the middle. I'm like, oh, well, this must be the landfill. But they was burning the shit. I was like, oh, that's not really thinking too deep into it. Then we stopped again, and I just seen the trail of like, it was two kids first. It was like three. There was like four. Then, but they walking in like little groups. Nigga, and I'm like, we haven't fallen on this trail, nigga. That's this day way home. This day yeah. regular shit. This is everyday life. I went to Jamaica life. last year in May. Shit, I fuck me up. I took my for the first bro. time. He got a, a, a record label here. And he, like his heart is with kids. Mm -hmm. So they brought the mayor to meet us. They brought us to their ghetto. Mm -hmm. Like our driver, he just latched on to us. Like for some reason, like he had a heart for us. He took us there. Man, them kids was going down to the water, getting crabs, bringing them back up, cleaning them. Cooking them. Cooking them. Chilling. I couldn't survive there. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't know where to begin. Straight they up. took us inside the mountains that they lived in. Mm -hmm. Huts. Yeah. yeah. Chilling. I talked to all the kids. They was like, they thought I was a Barbie doll. Like, they like, bro, like, you're super pretty. I'm like, what y'all want to be when y'all grow up? They was like, we just want to fight for our country. No jobs. Low, like, you know, our kids be yeah. lawyers, doctors. No, they wanted to go to the Army. Fight and for then you country. somewhere, that's the, what, this is what fucked me up. Because I'm like, I'm on this same turf. When I leave this bitch, I'm going sitting at the jacuzzi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smoke weed now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I get out that resort they, real quick. Yeah, I, got you. I leave that. Yeah, last time I went to Jamaica, we left. We left Jamaica. We left the hotel and went to the little flea market yeah. they had. And we like, said the next time in. we going, we staying with our driver. He's like, I got a house for y'all to stay and everything. Yeah. We got them people five hundred cool dollars. Like they bro. treated us like that. He said, man, we finna feed the whole village with this five. That's what I'm saying. They super cool. Like they want to because when you go out there, you got some people that'll tell you, oh, don't go over here, don't do that. No, that's what you need. When you go there, bro, they love. The Cause shit it make you, you it make you feel they love like the shit out of you, bro. bro. This is this was one of the first times what I you, ever bro? felt you like I don't even dress up, bro. No, I know I said what it made me feel like was nigga. I went from being a minority to the majority. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a different ball it's game now. Ball game, bro. Yeah, man. Different ball. <laughs> white boy, I seen the white boy. See, man. Hey, white boy had been drinking and I took, give me that. <laughs> like, Look, hey, mom, that's what it was. Look, and that's what I think what happened. So they was telling me don't go over there because they thought I had that white in me. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I ain't green, <laughs> brother. No, <laughs> man. Area, I, to be in the I gave my, hey, hey, my, did I my forces? I gave to the, the, the little bartender. I was like, hey. These white forces, yeah. Bro, and I had that, you know, the first time out. I went, I had my other Man. grid. So when yeah. I got down there, boys was like, yeah, <laughs> boy. They was like, let them down. Let them down. I took them all down. They get, come, right, with, get, they come with us. Let's get into some, some, let's get into some, let's get into some shit, man. We gotta get, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get into, to, to, to this shit we gotta get into. Oh. And we need to get her and uh, Rhyming here at the same mm -hmm. time on that. Oh, we gonna rock out. Oh, it's gonna be hard. Let us do, let us do that, man. All right, let me talk to y'all about something, man. We we ain't got no more. We got to ask her. I, I had one thing I want to ask, but we going to say that for when we go to the shop. Okay. We got to go do an episode at the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're doing. We're doing locations yeah, now. We're we moving locations now. Oh, location. That, that, I asked her the question that. then. I want to ask y'all this, though. No, I want to make this statement. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get to it. Get together, big dog. Get, Get together, together. Man. I right. had like 17 shots. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take that bottle down over there. Look at that. You put See a bin in it. He really did. All right, this. He got, you got something going on? What's going on? Let me tell you. Oh, my God. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you my life. I went through that same thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was in a dark place. <laughs> I gave a living man. And I mean, hey, it happens to the best uh, of Nah, let me, let me, uh, but now I, feel, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, me and this nigga argue about this shit all the time. Yeah. What? About that, that about, about doing shit, going to get out your fear and, and trying to get out there, but you don't be realizing how much other shit be going down. Like you say, yo, yo ex dude, he, he, he saw it, but then again, he was like, he, he didn't understand it. Because you got to be in that mind frame to actually do that. But go ahead, right. bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, I was letting you go. I just want to say this: when you in the relationships, mm, and okay. and you kind of getting you got to get into that bitch. Okay? <laughs> One of these real quick. I'm gonna talk okay, to you. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. You yeah, kind of get into because baby, I'm probably the worst. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying it, it, it's it goes I ain't to what say that. I'm a good one. It goes to what you're saying. It's like you kind of getting too cocky. Now, when I say that, I was saying it earlier, but I want to save it till I, I get into it, like. Get into it. You get too cocky where you feel like you don't got to keep putting in the work into that relationship. That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Like, you get too cocky, you kick your feet up. Not get like, too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Like, oh, I got my woman, oh, I got yeah, my man. I don't I'm just gonna date you now, my own. But you. relationship yeah, is a service. Yeah. It's always a service. Yeah. And, a, and a person will start wondering, like, why I'm getting cheated on or why this is happening because you got too cocky and you kicked your feet up. My daughter told me some cold shit mm. that made me bring this up. She said, she said, she said, man, I don't want to put a business out there, but she said some shit about her ex dude, and she was like, I'm not going to lie to you, daddy, if a, if a uh, man is not enough, then I'm going to cheat. Mm -hmm. Damn. I said, well, what you mean? She was like, I don't mean I'm going to just do stuff, but I'm going to start talking to other people because I feel like I, 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 I come with something that I'm bringing, and you ain't bringing the same thing, then you're well, not enough. Leave. Yeah. You got to cheat. Nah, she's saying, I guess she's saying, like, talking to other dudes, you know, she's 18. She goes, she's like, she, she, you, know, you know how you are when you're young. She Which I can understand around. that, bro, because that's almost like saying, it's like, okay, your regular day before you get cocky, and you buying your woman flowers every week. You you dating every, you you making sure you're going on a date so every other that, every other couple days. Do do like no, I do. Way. What I'm saying is, you pumping I don't, gas, you I don't, doing all of this. I'm so. not reaching. But then, I'm coming in as me. You gotta come in as you. So then, when you get cocky, like, oh, I got, I got my woman. I got my. No, and I'm gonna pee on that too, cause like, I got my woman. I did all of this for the past four, five years. She solidified. Now I'm gonna fall back because, nigga, I got this. This me. But shit, now you done spoiled her to that. So now you done got cocky. You done got her used to this everyday life. When that really, technically, ain't you if you if you're not continuing to do it. So like I said, I understand what he's saying. You gotta come in and be you, hundred percent your authentic self. Yes, if you're not a flower getting nigga, don't get, <laughs> don't flowers, get flowers. Bro. But if you start it and stop it, you can be a flower getting. You can not be a flower getting nigga. But what if you get a woman that's her love language? Flowers. Okay, well I'm not gonna that. get the. I'm gonna get the flowers when I don't want to get them. Cause think about it, it's still a win. You can still do some it. shit that I don't do. Okay. Cause you can't. So fake. that means like no, no, you can't fake. So that means like you, you gonna revert back. Okay, to let, let's say look. You love flowers. I don't fuck with flowers. <laughs> so now you getting flowers once a month. You happy with that? Because you know I'm a nigga that don't get flowers. Okay. But what I'm saying is I'm not putting on. Because yeah. I can't put I can't I can't keep up this facade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm too much of myself. So what I do is I let you come in and you like me. If you like me for who I am, that's why my relationship lasts for a long time. Cause you like what the fuck I so, brought to you. Nah, because so your shit, to... your shit is like your shit is a shocker. No, 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 no. Listen to what I'm saying. He the type of nigga. He because I gotta break. The, I gotta break what he's saying. No, he I, not I, saying I that. Oh, I'm a, a bare minimal type nigga. Mm -mm. He's saying no. Oh, I'm gonna do the shit that I'm gonna do for her, yeah. and that's gonna be that's what him. I'm gonna do. But that's him. It's but I'm not not doing nothing. But, but, but no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying that at all. Because I'm not making a nigga like now. What I'm saying is. This how it is, right? What I present, nine times out of ten, gonna be enough. Yeah. It might not be. Let's say she want this and I want that. You know what? Fuck what we want. What you got? Look at what you got. You look at what I got. I like that. I like that too. And we work with that. Now nah, we can add whatever, subtract whatever we gonna do. But what I'm saying is, I'm not putting on for you to get you. Yeah. Cause you already know. Because this, yeah. but yeah, because if you put on, if because like I said, if you put on that shit, you go, can't that keep shit up go, with that. You can't keep up with that shit. You bro. can't keep up with that. You're like, you gonna die. Yeah, out. but you act. That's that's called adapting. That's what you're gonna do in a relationship is adapting. I'm just saying, don't. What she said, don't get too comfortable in yeah. it. Yeah, but 
Get, you feel get, like okay, what I'm saying, okay, but that's getting too comfortable is damn near showing your real self. Because I'm already comfortable. No, that's, what, that's what I'm. No, not. look, okay, look, this is what I'm. I I'm not too trying comfortable, to, not comfortable. No, what what I'm trying to say is this, right? Yeah. Let's just say too comfortable is really just you. You leaving the interview stage, right? And you falling back. Now I'm thinking like. Yeah, me ain't even damn me I look good no more, nigga, cause I didn't I'm no, I'm good that's now. Comfortable. I'm too comfortable now, right? But if me, my regular self, every time you walk by, you slap you on your ass. ass and shit, <laughs> you ain't never missing this, cause this is just me. This is who I am. That's what I am. So what I'm saying but is But you always gotta put service into the relationship, bro. True. Nah, that's listen what I'm saying. The service is not the service is regular shit. Yeah. Your service is you saying Hey, I found a new restaurant we need to go try. Right? Mm -hmm. Sending her shit. Hey, look. Hey, these all right here look good on you. You need to fuck with that. This is your service because that's your woman. What she got is what you want, right? Yeah. Let's just say you met the baddest female that you've been wanting for a long time, right? And you finally like, oh, shit, I get to get it. And now she start telling you little things that... She like him what she what you need to do, right? You gonna start So you start knocking them, that and start you knocking You gonna start them knocking them the bitches down and shit, right? But then but when right you, when you get up when you get comfortable, the all that shit don't it, it don't keep going because you. that's not you. No, not you period. I'm just saying niggas period. This is how you end up in that yeah. too comfortable stage. Mm -hmm. You start knocking down all the things that she want. Then when you get her what you want, you slowly the dot starts going. They start they start depleting. You don't do that. And she looking like, hey, what's up? Cause that ain't you. No, I'm not talking about when I say too comfortable. I'm talking about the nigga that's rubbing his feet in the cushion while he see his woman going out that door making it happen. Yeah, right. That's but what look, I'm saying but what I'm saying is, okay, what I'm saying is that all plays into the same shit that I'm talking about. It ain't just about that. Think about it. Now you the nigga. You you. Let's just say you went from picking the bitch up. Now y'all live together. Yeah. You kicked up now. Fuck, I'm worried about it, folks. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no nigga. No. It's a nigga. No, see, you getting it, you getting it confused with what I'm saying. Like, we both know it's a it's the service to this relationship. I'm talking about the nigga that got too comfortable where he feel like, oh, I already sealed that up. That I'm saying after, the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm I think I'm I saying, think the, same saying thing. the same thing. Because what you saying is like this. Okay, me person. Me personally. One of my shit I like to do, I like to buy random gifts. That's just, I feel like right. that's just regular like shit. Gift I'm a gift giver. I love to, and even if it's small shit, if, I'm out, if no, I'm, I'm out and about, <laughs> no, if I'm out and about, nigga, and I say, I'm That's his woman, no, though. If, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> if I'm in Pac Sun and I'm buying me a t shirt I'm and I walk, I look, oh shit, I know she like. Is it Dune. the same T-shirt? No, I know she like Dune. I know she likes Star Wars. I'm gonna get that shirt for her. Right. But that's me. But that's me on a regular it basis. Count, right. But it, like you said, a nigga get comfortable. If you told me that's kind of what you like, and I'm doing this shit at the beginning, and now I got comfortable, kind of moved in with you, and I got you, nigga. And all of a sudden, when I'm in Pac Sun, then now I'm coming home with one bag. Yeah. No, it's I like, got comfortable too. That's it's like you be but me, the same thing what I'm saying. If right? I'm, I'm type of, I love giving gifts. It don't matter. Yeah. If we we've been together for a year, nigga, or twenty. If I like giving gifts, I'm going to always do that yeah, shit. Yeah, because it's, it's him. It's me. Yeah, right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is this. She like coffee every morning, Starbucks, right? That's your cute thing. You get up and you get her Starbucks. You go off to work. She got her Starbucks. She happy. Mm -hmm. Now, you done went got the little... Pack from Walmart. They got the star. It's still star. In the curate. You got now you like you now you like up. bitch. What's the difference? Just star no, 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 no. I'm still getting that's making what, it for you. I'm making it for you though. It's still star bucks. It's star bucks. I'm making and it I now. But the whole gesture was the cute thing. You going out your way to get her the star. Yeah, that's so all this it is. is my right. thought. I think I'm kind of on the same page with Ken. Okay. Okay. Um, Getting too comfortable is like, okay, yeah. In the beginning, you would buy me flowers every other week. Or once a month. And then you just stop, like, after about a year. I don't got to buy her flowers no more. Right. That's too comfortable. Or, like you said, I get up and go to work. We both, you know, in business. But you see me leaving out the door, you probably feel like, shit, she got it. 
Because I'm me, and they, I, I feel like they was faking from the That's jump. what I'm saying. That's they what I'm saying. It they was never you It was never real. You was just doing what I like. What I like you to do to get me to what you wanted to do. You weren't doing this just because this was what you wanted. So you wasn't doing it from the jump. Oh, okay. You was faking from the jump. Right, that's what I'm saying. But that's like, because think about it. We talked about that a long time. We're going to play this. Don't tell, don't come, I don't never want to sit down with a woman and say, Tell me what you like and what you don't like. Exactly. I don't want to hear that because now I that I hear you. it's a it's a thing in my mind, the back of my mind. I'm like, okay, I, I know she like this. Script. I know she like this. I know she it's like this. Cheat so let me start doing this. Now she so head over here. Would you prefer to learn those things? I would, yes, let me learn it, yeah, but at the same it. time, let me learn it and it. let me adapt to it for who I am. Okay. Yeah, so you okay. don't really care what her love languages are? No, I, I do. Oh. But at the same time, I'm not going to fake it. If she say her love like if she say her love language is flowers, okay. Let me get you flowers. I want to be able to surprise you with that. When that I means surprise when you we with walk that. in not, on the not, show not. and you pick them up and smell them, I'm like, oh, this bitch really like flowers. Yeah, I you so smelling them. I'm you not going out of my way. Oh, she like flowers for real. Now, I, now I'm looking at shit like I want to buy these flowers for you because really you're into them. Right. Yeah. You're not just saying you want flowers because you feel like all girls deserve flowers. Bitch, I'm not. they're going to die oh, anyway. Man. I'm not wasting my time with that. But if you into them like that, no, let's get them. Okay. And, and if it's me and I'm being my authentic self and if shit pop off like that naturally, of course, relationships are 50-50. It's a give and take. Right, right. If, I, if we adapt into each other, that may, I, I may and learn to you're incorporate gonna, that yes, in my gonna, real yes, life. You're going to bring some But if I just in. off the rip, you tell me you love flowers and day two, I'm sending you flowers to your job. Day three, oh, you got flowers when you come home. Day four, we six months in and I'm still, then all of a sudden, boom. Like shit, nigga. My my chick wasn't what it was. I ain't buying no motherfucking flowers for her. That's what I'm saying. Now bro. you revert back to your regular self. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right now, you know. like, well, I done bought the best flowers for a year. <laughs> she in love. She ain't going nowhere. Bitch, I done bought you flowers for the past year. What's one week gonna hurt? Now y'all got problems. Now you got problems. See what I'm saying? But because I'm not. I'm not necessarily. I'm not necessarily only saying the dude. I'm well, yeah, yeah. No, we, we, we know about the person. I know. We just talking about our point of view. This yeah. is a bigger point of view, but I understand. This is what I'm saying. saying. Don't go faking. What do y'all feel like is too comfortable for a woman? Like, what are some traits of a woman being too comfortable? Carrying yourself. Like, yeah. up your don't just, like if you want to, you want to, yes. yes, yes. And I'm not Look. saying you got to be bopped up, but what I'm saying is, hold on, what's bopped up? I feel like that carrying yourself is real because I feel like, so say for instance, you got a woman, y'all been together for 15 years, or y'all married, yeah, anything. And two months. <laughs> two months. Oh, no. when we look, yeah. when we yeah. around yeah. the house, yeah. look, yeah. At, the, at the very it's beginning, look, I at the I was very, at the, I'm just saying, at the very beginning, nigga, I remember you going every week. You getting your nails done. You getting your. You getting your. You getting, getting your fucking mustache waxed. <laughs> underarms. Pussy clean, that all of that shit. I mean everything, he but all of a sudden, with yellow bitches out. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dark was got that mustache like, too, and that mustache damn, be I'm black. Just, <laughs> it's gonna be blowing out. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's the same. Like you said, they're comfortable. Like then they'll tell you, like, oh well. Nigga, I got you. Nigga, why I gotta shave every day? Nigga, nigga, I don't, bitch, I still don't want the no, prickly. No. I don't want prickly. And then she, listen, I don't want no the hoop pussy either. Hold on, listen. Because I don't want you go out with your friends. Now you, you back. You, wax. Now right. you waxed up. You shaved up. Nigga, legs smooth that. again. Nails I done. I don't want that. No. I don't want that. If you the, gonna do that, do that from the jump. Listen, I don't want the. I don't want I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't I don't need you to, to, to over the top shit. But what I'm saying is keep it together. Like you can miss a week or so without getting your nails yeah, done. Of course. You could have get I don't give a put your hand up on it, I don't give a fuck. But what I'm saying is the decency for me is you at least wake up, you gonna brush your shit back and put in the ponytail, you're gonna get up and put some clothes on. Yeah. Right. Cause yeah. I'm not gonna do you like that. You ain't gonna never see me walk around with holes in my drawers and shit. Cause I could You ain't gonna see me I'm with a baggy it. muscle shirt. I'm gonna make sure it's one fitted that I got out of the drawer. This bitch ain't finna be sloppy and baggy. I ain't finna be walking and around here with, with, and with shit holes in my socks. In two different socks. No, I'm gonna always keep myself together as a man, so please do it for me. And then when you wonder why. Why do you think you most men touched? work out? Most men, they ain't working out for themselves. Yeah. Right. Just like women. The men out here, they wanna look good for whoever they trying to impress or whoever they got at home. So they working saying, out for that. You saying women get that BBL for men? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's for a nigga. Hell yeah. Who's and if it ain't for a nigga, it's for a nigga. It ain't for a nigga. It's for right. niggas. Man, you know that it's, the, it's to be seen. They bro. just making you say you ain't that important, but you really yeah, is. There's no way in here. There's no way in here you taking yourself to risk yourself going through surgery, going through recovery, going through pain 
for yourself to sit in the house. If a Hell female no. got a BBL and walked around every day for a year straight and no man ever looked at her twice, she's gonna said regret that she spent that money and she's gonna be the depressed. Fuck off. Yeah. She got that shit to be noticed. She'll it's cut for, that bitch out of her I don't even say it's for attention, attention but I mean, it's, it, it may be something that's for attention. It's nigga. for self confidence, but it's for self confidence. Every woman likes attention. To be noticed. What <laughs> woman don't like attention? You want attention. It don't matter. It don't I gotta don't be count. negative. Everyone wants to be complimented. Yeah. Everyone wants to feel like she is pretty or she is doing something right. Nobody wants to be ignored and just act, put on a back burner like that. Hell no. But huh. to answer, I want to answer your question. And I just want to, you said what a women, uh, mm-hmm. the things that women do. I feel like when the women stop paying attention to the details and stop being spontaneous when it comes to the relationship, when you start. You're talking about like fucking outside? Nah, not nah, fucking out. <laughs> nah, I'm saying like as far as. Nah, okay, we going to, wait, wait a minute. What I mean, that's spontaneous. That's, 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 that's not always spontaneous though. Okay, spontaneous can be like, let me, let me pick you up and take you. No, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying like when you start just doing the shit that I asked you to do, like you be, I'd be like, that ain't oh. spontaneous if you asked. No, I'm saying like if I ask you, I want to know the spontaneous shit you. No, 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 I'm not into that. <laughs> I, 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 well, why you brought it up? Where that clown at? <laughs> but nah, I, nah. Feel like, I, feel like, I feel like the woman shit is the same way like the man shit. If you fucking with a nigga and now you nah, hate him at the beginning, you Wait, fucking nah, every day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to fuck with him. Get, get back, no, no, I'm not going to do the clown shit. Go get into your no, shit. No, I just want to say, like, when you come and you stop being, like, it's just random. Like, you just random thought of me. Like, I random think of you. Don't do the shit, oh, you expect, oh, he... Just come in and clean, and I wow. want you to do this. I just want you to be random, like, hey, that look a little cologne I seen you looking at. See, I bought it. Nah, if a woman stopped doing that, she fucking around. But you just said, huh? What? I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> you just had a whole steal about flowers, like. No, that's flop. No, let me tell you something about a woman. No, 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 I'm not. Yeah. Listen. It, th- no, I said if I'm not into that, but I did it for you. She that's too big. Like, no, no, no. Every tonight. woman that's into a man, think about that nigga all day, and she buy you random gifts. I don't give a fuck if it's what your if, favorite she candy from the store. Bad water. Cause that was the bad water ain't shit. No, she I'm tired. Really fuck what if, what if she stopped bringing that? that if she didn't went water. to Ross and ain't come back with nothing for you, mm-hmm. now time. Ross. I don't give a damn if it's. A new lotion for you. Yes. A pack a of draws. A pack of draws. Some hair. A pack of draws be twelve dollars. Hey, yeah. Try this on your face. It got to be something like that. Yeah. Cause women think about you all the time. They gonna buy you more shit than you buy them. It's a nurturing it's thing. It's, they a, have. it's a nurturing it's a nurturing thing. thing they have. Yeah. So if you stop getting them smart things, you 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 in trouble. And that's what I'm saying. You in big trouble. So that's what I said when I'm saying a woman. She asks when a woman gets too comfortable. I'm saying that's when you start doing the random shit. I don't think that's too comfortable. I think she done with you. It's over with. Too comfortable? No. Okay. You gotta understand a woman to get too comfortable too, cause a woman a woman to have a kid with you and feel like, oh, I got. They ain't gotta do shit up. Man, I was with a bitch that was cheating on me and still buying them little gifts, so she wasn't too comfortable. Yeah, she was I doing her thing. She was just buying them gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't give a damn. As long as I got mine, I was good. Hey, 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 right? So he cheated on me. Hey, see, I told you that before. That's my rule, bitch. If you gonna cheat on me, whatever you out there doing with that nigga, bring your ass back. If you out there sucking and fucking, if you out at three o'clock in the morning. And That's you my rule too. You, if you want to live you, a double life, bitch, then you, you better gotta bring be rich it. in my life. Look, hey, bring that dirty pussy home. You be walking in her life. Bitch. But I you can't be broken in my life. You got one more dick to suck. Bring, you got one more dick to suck tonight. <laughs> bring that dirty pussy back home and suck some more dick when you get here. Wake me up out of my sleep. If you get dick down. If you getting dicked out at 2 30 in the motherfucking morning and you sucking dick, bitch, when you get home at 4, <laughs> suck another dick. <laughs> and get, and fuck again. Drop that ass on some dick, bro. I want the same fucking treatment. Cause as yeah, soon as I yeah. stop getting that type of treatment and I find out, now I'm pissed the fuck out. Yeah, but if you out there, we, we out, if me and that nigga get the same shit, I'm good, baby. See, but okay, look, that, <laughs> I'm straight. But why I say the comfortable is the way you carrying yourself, because it's gonna piss me the fuck out. Cause you ain't gonna make me horny when you just looking at it. Kind yeah, you got. Like, what if she's in dark space? No, that's fine. See, that's a difference. You ain't too comfortable. You going through something. Oh, okay. I'm with you with that. And no, I think that's that's what his main. Thing. I think that's I think that's their main thing. When they get comfortable, they just stop. No, but look, even if they got that new girl, no way. As a woman, fuck it. I help you work it off. 
I ain't worried you about it. I'm not worried yeah. about none of that. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, I but I'm just saying. Little thick old, we fine. I'm just saying. I'm not worried about that. What I'm talking about is, you just. You, you know just said go. you didn't put on a moo moo every night, <laughs> like bro. Saying, come yeah. on, and then every time I see you leave out the house, I don't give you a fuck if you going to work, if you going to grocery store, you you're going to everything. hang with your partners, and I'm looking. You take the time to get yourself together, yes. bitch. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> now that's now see that's when I think of a woman. That's what I think about nobody. Yeah, that's what I think about that comfortable. That's what I think about that comfortable. Bitch, you say a woman, bro. Because I feel like, bro. You want to close friends? Because then, because wait, because see, because you know that excuse me, that excuse. Me, well, I ain't got time. I'm doing this. I'm taking care of the baby. I say, bro, but when you go out, bro, you do all of that shit in like 30 minutes. Yeah. You jump in the shot. You got two razors, nigga. You know how you yeah. <laughs> double. Yeah. You doubling up. Yeah. You saving your arms and your legs at the same time. Yeah. Like, bitch, you couldn't take that same five minutes and shave up before you get in the bed and try Man. to intertwine your. And legs I ain't even asking for all that. I take. The, I'll take a little hairy business if you ain't got time. I ain't tripping because you my woman. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I'm just saying, take the time out to get yourself together. Like, I don't want... Why are you walking around in my motherfucking basketball shorts all day? No. No. Give me with that little really one-two. Yeah, well, be comfortable with your friends. Give me with the little one-two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a unit for you to wear when you go out with your friends. Yeah, your friends want to go to happy hour? You wear them same motherfucking basketball shorts and them goddamn crocs. There goes some jeans and, and, I got, too, socks. in my hoodie. And wear that, wear that shit out. But yeah. now, nigga, you done ordered a whole new outfit, nigga. I ain't seen them heels. Where you get them heels from? They done Damn. pulled out. Damn. I've been had these. Bitch, them hoes still got a, I the want tag the one on the two. <laughs> I want the one two with the long socks. Come on, go put that Tell on. Telling me to zip the back. Yeah. I'll punch you in the back of your back. <laughs> Can you um zip? But I think that's I think that's a woman's go to for comfortable shit. They just they just they don't they don't try at the house no more. They just like they don't give a fuck no more. That's too comfortable. That's too comfortable. You're getting out of here. Like bro, I see you re- look. You reach yeah, You re- look. You point to go get you that's something, and your head the same length under your arm. This is mine. You <laughs> get All right, what see, this is, is a prime you example. Like, right? oh, don't look at my let me give you. Let me, let me give you an example of a, of a woman that kind of like reaching. She come in lingerie. I know you fake. It. You ain't even yeah. wear this no, shit no, no, every no, day. No. Yeah. Now nah, I can hit me with it every now and then. Y'all probably can't about lingerie. Though. Hell no. Nah. No, you really no. What I'm yeah. saying, I like to see it. I love Niggas it. Niggas, but my thing with is, you in they boxes. Right. But <laughs> you get a t-shirt. Let's get no. a little piece of that. Okay, ass but this what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it's like saying. lingerie <laughs> here and there, but you gonna at least walk around. I need to see the little shorts. I need to see the 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 boy shorts. The don't 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 my shorts me every night. Yeah. My shorts, you give me a t shirt. My shorts is the My shorts is for if the Lisa man comes. You got him and run down there. Yo, grab my shit. You back up and take that shit out You just like, I gotta throw something on and go to the dough. I don't want to see you brush your teeth in the shorts I just took off. Yeah, you can small shirt me with a little piece of ass showing and some mismatched ankle highs. I'm good, baby. When the last time baby put on your shit and you walk by? Uh-uh. <laughs> that ain't that ass look stinking in there. She ain't putting no. No, I'm not talking about you personally. Oh, yeah. I'm just baby gonna wear my niggas a t-shirt, Period. maybe, but nah. not nothing. You don't want to see nah, that? Is nah, what I'm nah, saying. I don't. Nah. I'm gonna be real. Bitch, you know I'm just scratch my nuts in them shorts. Yeah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, in your shorts. <laughs> oh. So yeah, you so to be them shorts today. Like, you out here trying to be sexy. Right. You so we got hey, both sides. Hey, of, hey, hey, what's yeah. up? What's no, no, I think that I think that we all re- basically were saying the same thing. Yeah. We just we it's just different perspectives. Different perspective. bro. Everybody's yeah. seeing it differently, bro. Mm-hmm. But it, it, being too comfortable is could be the depth of a relationship. It I is think. the depth of a relationship. It is. I'm leaving. Yeah. You gonna leave? Yeah. Twenty years in. Yeah, I'm out. Because because it's hard. No, because it's so hard for me to fake that. You only get one of the one of these lives. Like I'm not. Feeling I it. love my woman. Yeah. So when you turn yeah. when you turn that switch off on me, bro, and I keep telling you, what you doing? Like what the fuck? I'm not about to live in misery because I I'm settling. It's where the side bitch yeah. come in. Uh, Twenty I, I years, I don't me. care. Yeah. I'm not, I don't care about no time. I only get one of these things. Yeah. You go so to that I side, go ahead. You go to that side, bitch. I'm being on peace. Like, yes, boy, shorts, anything nigga. that 
toes done. It's my piece. I gotta let it go. Yeah, you gotta I let it go. Right. Yeah. You. Like I'm gonna let you. We can be. So fighting. a dub in. My homeboy. We can be homeboys. A dub in. Yeah. You, you'll get rid of. Yeah. yeah. If it's unhappy, so, uh, my piece and stuff. Like time. I don't understand like how people. It's hard, but you got to. Like today's time, I get it. The economy is fucked up. But yes, there's so it is. many people shacking with each other because they're afraid to do it alone, nigga. I will struggle. It's fear. To still have my piece. Do they still make efficiencies? Yeah, I go to that. Without being that efficiency. Yeah. I, mean, I bear it up. I mean, yeah. I just can't walk in my house and be unhappy knowing there's somebody in here that disturbs my people. When, when the world is, is fucked up yeah. as it is, yeah. you I still deal with so much on home. this other side of the door. Ain't and I home and deal with fucked up shit. No, 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 no. And, That's and, the you, main and you in my shorts? <laughs> you got my clothes on. Hey, go. <laughs> if I'm coming home, you got my clothes on. You disrespectful. If, if I'm, I'm coming, coming home, you giving me another one. Oh if I'm coming you home, we better we better get up out of here. If I'm coming home oh, unhappy, I'm gonna be smelling like Macau. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what is that? You got it. Teach me. Oh, the county. <laughs> the county. Oh, Macau. The city, me. He yeah. Been out, oh, out, out, he out all night. <laughs> it ain't that no more. If I'm coming home I'm, and I'm unhappy, I'm smelling like Macau. For real. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Baby. And we out. Right. That's episode 87. We had a special guest. She broke that shit down. Now we know her and Robin best friends. Hey. We'll take All right, so go, go get your lashes over there. And get a bag on your way out. Nice bag, and <laughs> if you don't want to go to four year college, you know where you need to be, man. Get that bag. Yeah. And she gonna she teach got you. you. She's going to take care of you. I'm sending my daughter there. So I was just going to say, Sierra, <laughs> Sierra, I found your trait, man. I just saw my daughter on the website and everything. She was like, Daddy, because my daughter be in the room, baby, doing her own hair and uh, shit and everything. I told John's daughter, John Wong, y'all know I used to talk to No shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I John be here in a few But you talk, which one you talk?